happy Saturday, September 21st. So today is a very special day for me and my family. Um, a year ago exactly today, my mother passed away. You guys can see here, it says September 21st, 2023. Well, it says September, so it's in Spanish. Hopefully uh, my mic is working good. I've been having some issues where like it's disconnecting on and off. So hopefully we're fixing it on this one. But uh, yeah, it's been a full year. It just so happened really fast, you know, just in the blink of an eye, it just went boom. So the usual, you know, brought her some flowers, bring, brought a little Lego to build while I talked to her, and brought a little Coke. Uh, I ran out of Coke, so I brought the Fanta. I don't know if this one's still the one that I gave her, like, a couple months ago, but here's another one, Mom. I still haven't drank yours, but there it is. But I guess for the special, I mean, aside from it being the first year today, she got her plaque today. So that is my mom. Obviously, that was when she was really young. Um, this flower keeps on falling on her. I don't know why, but but yeah, this is a plaque. So this is my dad. Um, kind of weird, but he's still alive, <laughs> as you guys can see. There's no actual date. So uh, they just ended up buying the, um, I guess, the plot together, just in case, you know. Um, I guess it just made sense. And I think over here, literally right next to them, I think my aunt and my Nino kind of bought the plot. So they're literally all together. Now, I know you're probably thinking like, whoa, are you just predicting the future? Well, technically we're all gonna pass away, right? So, um, but I think it's just cheaper to buy it now because I think throughout the years it gets more expensive. So they were just like, what the heck, you know? Um, and then my uncle, so I'll probably go visit him for a bit right now. But uh, yeah, I mean, the plaque, uh, my first time seeing it, it took, what, eight months, I guess, for us to kind of finally get it here. But uh, yeah, it's kind of getting pretty easy, I guess. I just stabbed myself. I'm telling you, I think keeps on falling. It's pretty windy today, so hopefully the, the little, what do they call it? The cat skin or the cat something. Hopefully that's helping out with the, with the audio but we're just chilling here you know uh, like I said it's been a year so I, I think at the end of this video I'll probably kind of like let you guys know like how have I been like through this like this entire year like how has it been what have I like thought of this um, you know we'll see kind of what the afterthoughts of that but right now I'm just gonna build this Lego and uh, yeah just stay tuned to the end just to see how like I survived you know or i guess like how was my experience with this full year obviously my mother you know the most important person in my life she just passed away from us you know but uh, we'll see anyways time to build this lego and uh i'll see you guys afterwards all right then now that we are done with you know everyone has gone home and stuff um let's talk about like how do you handle this situation of you know losing a loved one so Obviously, if you haven't gotten the memo at this point, uh, my mother passed away exactly a year ago. She had cancer. She uh, pretty much survived, I guess, having cancer for over six years. Um, it was in 2017, so... Dudo, down! It was, it, it was 2017 when she was diagnosed, so, you know, pretty much there. And yeah, you know... Um, now, I don't know if this is going to be anything significant for anyone. It just I'm just expressing myself as, as to how I pretty much handled it. I'm still new to this, obviously. You know, it's only been a year. You know, yes, I've lost, you know, like um, uncles, aunts, grandparents and stuff. But obviously, your mom being your mom, it's like she was basically my oldest best friend, right? So that one did hit a lot. Um, but uh, we were... I uh, told by the doctor last year, uh, a couple months ahead, like, hey, this is probably going to be her last year. So we try to, you know, uh, cherish every moment that we could with her. But let's see, I guess my biggest advice would be just let time pass by. I think that's going to be your biggest thing because, you know, stuff like this is going to happen and it's just something that you kind of have to deal with. Um, the way, so it took me a while for me to get kind of like, uh, I guess, well, so when the moment actually happened, um, 
it didn't hit me as hard. I think I want to say that I was happy that it kind of happened just because, again, seeing her progress into, I guess, you know, looking more and more and more like very skinny, kind of looking like a skeleton was like, hey, this is not my mom, you know, pretty much just being in bed almost all day in the couch, not really eating as much. You kind of feel bad at some point where you're like, uh, this isn't like the person that I used to know, right? So it's a sad, it's a sad feeling, you know, just seeing them kind of not be them. So when it finally happened, it was kind of like, okay, like now, not only is she at peace, but my family is also at peace, you know? Um, it's kind of funny because my sister showed me like a picture of like my mom, right? Like in her last few months. And when I looked at her, I was like, dude, like she looks really freaking skinny. And like all this time I was there with her and I like, yes, like I, I knew she was skinny. But like looking at that picture, I was like, oh my God, like she was really like going through it. So that's why like, I think I was happy with it. Again, it was more of like, hey, like she's not suffering anymore and this and that. And then another reason why like I'm okay with that, like it, it finally happened is just because my family and I, like, we all did what we could um, to try to, you know, have her, I guess, be safe and have, having her medication, if that makes sense. So between, like, my sisters and, you know, even some other family members, too, and, like, my dad, uh, we would all take her uh, to her appointments, go over to the CVS slash uh, whatever it is, um, I guess, like, Walgreens and all that, just to get her medication, right? So... It, it feels like we did our part in trying to, you know, help her and just be there for her, which is why I think it feels good for us. Um, you know, all the moments that I was there kind of waiting for her, like, I, I'll be honest, I dreaded hating, like, taking her to her appointment just because it was funny because she would always tell me, like, hey, it's only going to be, like, five minutes, so don't worry. And then five minutes pass, and then 20 minutes pass, and then 30 minutes pass. So, literally, I was there for, like, almost an hour every time, and I'm just like, ah. Like, it is what it is. Again, this is why I'm here. I'm showing her support. You know, it would have been one thing if um, it would have happened and we didn't really do our best. Like, oh, she she missed a few um, appointments here and there just because we couldn't take it. Like, nope, every time she had one, we would take her. Which is, I, I think that's what helped. Again, just accepting that you did everything that you could. I think that's what, like, I guess really helps me kind of go like, hey, we did what we could. And, uh just kind of you know it it just happened um don't get me wrong it's gonna take a few months probably e even more than that just to i guess get over it i guess and then even then you don't get over it right because look i have accepted that she passed away right and it helped that i moved out which is i think the biggest factor that i finally got to live on my own but like as i was trying to say um it took me a few months to kind of like really get myself get together again the moment it, it didn't really hit me, if that makes sense. Just because I was happy that she was finally resting, right? But if you have been here on my channel, you know, in the past few months, I had some vlogs that were like months way, like way ahead where, again, I didn't feel like being, I, I guess, um, I, I didn't feel like editing. I didn't feel like uploading, but I still had some of those memories, right? But, like, you can tell in some of those vlogs that, like, I just let myself go. Like, my beard was just, like, puffy. My hair was just, like, whatever. I didn't care. Like, again, it's not that I gave up in life. It was just the moment where I was, like, I was depressed, you know? I was, um, I guess, under depression because, obviously, again, I lost my oldest best friend, right? Um, but it took me months for me to finally start to, like, feel myself again, you know? This entire year, I'm like, hey, I'm giving myself haircuts. I'm shaving off my beard. Again, it was all about hygiene and all that. Again, not that I was being nasty. No, it's just, this was just a year for that. And then just even like to this day, it's just like, there's just some times where I'm like, why does it feel like I'm missing something? Like I'm missing, like I'm doing something. And it's like, what is it? And then it just kind of hints me. It's like, oh, well like, dude, you, you haven't talked to your mom, but it's like, oh wait, that's why. It's like, we can't talk to her. Obviously, yes, yeah, so it's like going to the cemetery and talking to her. But you know, that one-on-one -on -one, uh, conversation, which is what I would do with my mom, right? Sometimes I would just tell like, hey, this is what's going on with school, this and that, blah, 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 you know? Um, but it just, again, like, you know, it, it's gonna take some time, you know? Even like I said, up to right now, we're 
a year. And I'm like, dude, I feel like I'm something, I'm missing something. But like, it gets good, right? So I guess another thing is just like, find find something that's going to inspire you to keep on going, right? So obviously, you know, you have your family, you know, so I have sisters, my dad, obviously, you know, I'm still continuing going on for them, right? And I see that everyone else is kind of at peace too. Everyone's happy, you know, as time goes on, you, you'll be happy about it. Um, the thing is too, it's like, like, yes, I'm doing it for them, obviously, but it's like, I'm also doing it for myself because now I have my own family right now i'm married with gavi with my wife you know my beautiful wife so i'm basically you know obviously continuing life with her because she's making me happy right we have nella and then my newest addition doodle right so again nella right here and then we got doodle over there who just became part of our family it's like i'm doing it for them right and then obviously gavi and i we want to have children's you know sometime in the future and just like it's just stuff like that where it's like I'm a person that I like to think ahead, you know, like, yes, like sometimes you live in the moment, but it's kind of like this moment is going to go away, continue going forward. And that's how I am. Right. So again, I always thought myself like, Hey, if, if my mom were to ever pass away, like, I don't want to be in this world. Right. And then now that it happened, it's like, Hey, I found the people that are making me happy. Right now, again, going with that, I'm, I'm on the, on the, on the, I guess, less typical side where I like to be kind of alone. I don't like to be in crowds. I don't really like to go to parties. I don't like to hang out with people as much. I'm just comfortable with my own family. And that's something that I've been doing. And I've been noticing that when it's their birthday parties, like I'll go, right? And then sometimes I'll even go the next day just because I don't like being in a crowd. Uh, my sisters usually like to invite other family members and all that, but I don't go. It's just like, I just feel comfortable being just when it's with them, right? Um, that's why like, I don't go anywhere else. Like my family is literally like the only, I guess, place that I go to visit and stuff. It just like, it just makes me happy. It just makes me feel comfortable because they kind of know, obviously they, they know exactly like what I went through and all that. So it's kind of like cool to kind of like be like, hey, like we understand each other. Obviously, like I've been with them my, my entire life, right? But um, yeah, it's just like, I like being alone. Like for, like, for example, like a lot of times I'm just here with my dogs when, when Gabby's like, um, at work and it's like, and I'm happy like this. Like, I'm not saying that I don't, you know, it just, it's okay to have like your peace and quiet. Sometimes I, I know a lot of people say like, always be with people so that you feel comfortable. It's like, Hey, whatever makes you feel comfortable. So basically I guess the take of this is find what makes you comfortable, right? To me being alone sometimes is just, just kind of makes me just relax. Just enjoy, right? Put put on some YouTube, be with the dogs, and just play video games. Obviously, build Legos, build model kits. That's what just makes me happy. And, you know, it's going to take some time, obviously. Um, like I said, and I'm repeating myself, it took me a couple months for me to finally get back together and be like, hey, you know? Um, another downside from this was, like, you know, basically, I lost, like, my entire, I guess, college education. Look... Now, I'm not trying to make an excuse from it, but it's just something that it's making me accept it. Again, accepting what has happened is kind of like what makes it kind of like the road easier for you, right? So um, when it came down to college, I was doing engineering. I wasn't the greatest with physics, I'll be honest. I, I probably wouldn't have even passed, but I did have the opportunity to, I guess, apply to other schools because I only needed one class, right? But I only wanted to go to Cal Poly, which is not too far from here. And that is the only place that I wanted to go, again, due to my mom and then because of my dogs as well. Um, so that's the only place that I applied. But I know that I could have applied to other, like, I guess, I'm not trying to be, like, dog rating, but, like, other, I guess, schools that were not as, I, I guess, good as that. And then my career probably would have been, like, going from there. But instead, you know, I got rejected from Cal Poly because, again, I needed that one class. Um, I had decent grades, so, you know, I'm... I'm I'm pretty sure I probably could have made it if I had that one class. Um, but regardless, you know, I ended up staying here for those four years, right? When I had the chance to go out somewhere else, no, I decided to stay here for those four years. And honestly, I wouldn't trade it for the world because for those four years, I was here with my mom. I was making memories that that job basically or that school career would have taken away from me. You know, um, yes, they weren't the greatest four years, right? Because... We were just seeing my mom kind of like not in the best state of mind and stuff. 
but it's still, I was here with her, you know, there's still things that I, I wish I would have wanted to do, like take pictures with her and then, you know, um, make like a final vlog with her and just stuff like that. But it didn't happen. But you know what? Again, I, I, I'm accepting it. I'm like, okay. But now, you know, we'll see what the future holds. I'm still hopefully trying to see what content creation can do. And then moving forward from there, right? But that doesn't mean that you have to give up life when stuff like this happens. Because again, so after my mom passed away, four months later, my other dog, my first, I guess, I guess my first OG dog that I had inside the house that I literally took care of, like he passed away from me too. So after the biggest hit in my life happened, another big hit happened. Because again, he was basically like my son, right? I literally fed him. I, I, you know, I was there with him when, when he was a puppy. So he pretty much, you know, I, I raised him in a sense. I would walk him. I would shower. I would take him to the vets. I did. I, I basically did everything with him, right? And he just suddenly just like passed away. So like it was two basically daggers for me. And I think maybe that's what it's probably making this, you know, process to heal a lot longer just because it was a hit after another hit and it's like oof but i guess all my rumbling even if you're still even there or not i guess all i'm gonna say is that everything is gonna turn out fine as long as you just have a positive mindset i feel like everything is gonna turn out okay um like i said ever since i moved out everything has kind of been going well job has been doing well Obviously got another family member, you know, my life has been going well as well. Um, but it just kind of being positive and just kind of sticking throughout, you know, yes, it's unfair. And it's, it's like, it's fair to be mad at the world. Like, Hey, why was my, you know, that, that, that taken away from me? It's like, trust me, I was mad at myself, but you know, I guess the easier you accept it and like, stop being mad at the world and just continue moving forward. I think that's something that just really helps out in general, but if anything out of this is just like, hey, take your time to, you know, to mourn, just stay positive, take care of yourself, find something that you're looking for, I guess, towards the future, like, hey, this is my future now. And, you know, just stay positive. I think that's the only thing that I can say. I know I was mumbling a lot, but uh, hey, that's how I've been kind of feeling. And that's my process for the year. That's what makes me feel happy, right? I'm finally like, at this point where like, I feel very happy with what everything is going on in my life. So I know this is probably gonna be a long one, but regardless, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. And if something does happen to you, you know, just keep in mind that, you know, it's gonna be fine. You'll be okay. Just stay through it and everything hopefully will turn out positive for you. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, I really would appreciate it if you guys hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.